Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now it appears that they're going to try to salvage Tyson Fury's next fight by having him fight Alexander Ustinov, right? A guy who lost to Kubrat Pulev, right? If you're a gambler, I think the fight's riveting. Don't get me wrong. I'll certainly be paying attention to the fight. It's a must-watch if you're a boxing fan. But if you're a gambler, you need to stay on the sidelines. You can't pull the trigger on this fight. Understand, Tyson Fury was preparing to fight a much shorter guy, Derek Chisora, who he already fought in 2011 and beat. Right now, Tyson Fury, and these are the things we need to think about if we're going to gamble on sports, is temperamental. He has highs and lows. You read some of his interviews, and one could reach the conclusion that Tyson Fury, right, is emotionally volatile. Right? He might suffer from depression. Let's just call it as it is. He has highs and lows. Right? Maybe bipolar disorder. I'm not sure. I'm not a doctor. I'm just speculating here online. Now, he was motivated to fight Derek Chisora because both of them are from the United Kingdom. Right? What they were really fighting for was king of the local castle. Also, Chisora and Fury both have the kind of personalities that show up in face-to-face -face meetings, right? So you can imagine, when they're at press conferences and they look at each other, there's a certain electricity that would get a guy like Tyson Fury motivated. The motivation really isn't there as much against Alexander Ustinov, who's not British. Now this is a regular heavyweight fight. This isn't a fight for the local castle, right? Ustinov's personality is not Derek Chisora's personality. You might recall Derek Chisora and David Hay, right, scuffling a bit at a press conference following Chisora's fight against Vitaly Klitschko. You might recall Derek Chisora and, da and David Hay being separated by physical barriers at their press conference. You might even recall Derek Chisora spitting on a Klitschko at some event. Right? The point is simply, you're going to have an emotional letdown with this fight for Tyson Fury. Also, if you look at Tyson Fury, he only fought once in 2013. Since then, He's only fought once against a guy named Joey Abill, a southpaw, right? A journeyman. Now, Ustinov is completely different, style-wise, than Derek Chisora. I don't have to go looking for Derek Chisora in the ring. I know he's going to be right here, right? Derek Chisora is front foot heavy. He's in your face. He's trying to walk you down, and he's not even subtle about it, right? Not a lot of bob and weave on him. You'll notice he bobs and weaves about a round and a half. Then he's right in front of you trying to walk you down. In preparing for Derek Chisora, a fighter like Tyson Fury would look at tapes of his old fight and would really develop, you know, the part of his game that deals with Fending off a guy who's shorter, who's trying to come inside, who's trying to throw looping punches, right? Now, Alexander Ustinov is completely a different person, 
right? Figuratively and literally, right? He's six, seven and a half, right? He's tall. He's a former kickboxer. He's mobile. He's not going to be right in front of Tyson Fury. He's going to be all over the ring. He's going to force Tyson Fury, who might be in great shape, might not be in great shape, who hasn't had to use his legs for years, to actually use his legs to find him. Right? This is the kind of uncertainty, and it's literally last-minute uncertainty, that gamblers don't want, right? You're not betting on a Tyson Fury who focused his training camp on this opponent. Let me also point out that while I don't believe Ustinov has a great jab or much of a left hand, he certainly has power in his right hand. Understand, too, that Kubrat Pulev fight is the only fight this guy lost. Also, think about it, too. Houston F. has great legs. Former kickboxer, right? Great legs. Dare I say he probably has the leg advantage on Tyson Fury. I think Fury's a major talent. I think Fury has a chance to be heavyweight champion, undisputed. But I don't like this setup here, right? Sometimes you have to walk away from even talented combatants, right? These last second replacements often cause problems in boxing. You remember that first Lennox Lewis, Vitaly Klitschko fight? where Lewis was supposed to fight Kirk Johnson. Then at the last minute, here was Vitaly Klitschko. That was one of the toughest fights Lennox Lewis had in his entire career. Right? Apart from the fights Lewis lost, right? That's one of the toughest fights Lewis had in his entire career. Don't be fooled by last-minute replacements. Tyson Fury might not be ready to deal with a mobile six, seven and a half guy. Right? Let me also point out, too, that Ustinov's punch of choice is an overhand right. Right? It's much straighter than anything Derek Chisora throws. And he could throw it from greater distance than Derek Chisora, right? Fury now is just adapting to this style. He's going to have to change his game plan considerably, right? So my point to you is simply this. Know when to say when. This last minute change causes too much uncertainty for a gambler to take a risk on a fight like this. My recommendation here is to enjoy the fight, but to stay on the sidelines. With preparation, without the rust, I would take Tyson Fury against Alexander Ustinov. But I'm not doing so here. I don't think that Joey Abro fight really prepared Fury for this one. I don't think Fury has been active enough to really know what to expect when he's in the ring with a big guy who's going to be moving more than he is. Right? Also, if you look at that Kubrat Pulev Ustinov fight, you're going to see Ustinov didn't really pace himself well in that fight. He kind of collapses late in the fight. Right? The idea of a Kubrat Pulev KO is a bit of an anomaly, isn't it? Aren't guys like Tony Thompson able to go several rounds with Kubrat Pulev? Right? Ustinov wasn't able to. After the Pulev fight, he actually fought David Tua. He went the distance with David Tua, the full 12 rounds. If you look at the fight he had before the Tua fight, he actually went the distance there 
as well the full eight rounds right my point to you is don't assume that Ustinov hasn't taken steps to address his stamina issues right let me also say too you know Ustinov has been thinking about Tyson Fury because he's been helping Derek Chisora prepare for the fight so he's been in the ring mimicking Tyson Fury let's just say as the sparring partner for Derek Chisora he's been thinking about Tyson Fury more than Tyson Fury has been thinking about him right Tyson Fury was concerned with fighting Derek Chisora not Derek Chisora's sparring partner so I don't like the setup here I'll be on the sidelines just look at the movement in the fight understand too Tyson Fury was able to get inside and smother physically smaller guys right Steve Cunningham for example is he gonna get inside and smother this guy right given that Fury only went four rounds against Joey Abro right is he going to be prepared to make it himself into the later rounds against this guy? Isn't this guy a dangerous opponent for a temperamental guy like Tyson Fury, who might be taking this fight lightly and who might not be prepared for the style difference between Derek Chisora, who Fury knew he could beat because he had beaten him before? And this guy, who at 37 wants to put himself back in the heavyweight picture. Understand, I don't believe any major heavyweight, other than perhaps Derek Chisora, really wants to fight Tyson Fury. I'm telling you, I believe Vladimir Klitschko would leap at the chance to fight anyone who beats Tyson Fury. Right? It would look like he's not dodging Tyson Fury. Right? If Alexander Ustinov, and this is the shot of a lifetime for him, if he wins this fight, he's going to be right front and center in the heavyweight division. Right? So, if I were you, I would certainly watch the fight. It's going to be big theater. But I would keep my wallet in my pocket. I'm on the sidelines here. I'm not betting on this one. Let me hear from you. If you have a strong preference, if you have a lean, if you feel that you have insight that can help the viewers here on YouTube or the listeners on TuneIn or iTunes or WordPress, uh, figure out a side to take in this fight or an outcome to take in this fight, please leave that message here. Let me point out, too, that I'm concerned even about betting distance on the fight. Because, of course, Ustinov has gone the distance in his last two fights, right? And let's just say that Kubrat Pulev probably moves better than Tyson Fury, right? So even from a distance perspective, this fight has too many questions for this gambler to lay any action on it. Let me hear how you're playing it. Please leave your comments in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.